I never felt a desperate desire to uh, get out of it and establish my own sort of solo territory because everything that I wanted to do, I felt was being, you know, catered for within the squeeze environment. When it came to the time to do our last record, Domino, we've been through a, a succession of record deals, I think, for the last four albums that we made. We were on a different label for each, each record, the, the last, last one of which was a label that myself and uh, Suzanne Hunt had set, set up primarily for releasing both our, our, our own records and, and Nick Harper's records. Uh, that wasn't a situation that Chris felt comfortable with particularly and he didn't put a lot of time in, into that record and nor indeed uh, subsequently did he really uh, tour with it a lot so it sort of was the, the end of the line for Squeeze. Get ready for a closer look than you've ever gotten before at the music and the lives that inspire it. The Insider's View, Studio C. Tonight, new songs, rye banter, and rare classics from former Squeeze frontman Glenn Tilbrook. Comcast in Concert presents Studio C. You know, I come from a 25-year writing relationship with Chris Difford, one that had been extremely fruitful, I think, for the most part, for both of us. Um, and during the time that we had that writing partnership, from the time that we met, before we started writing together, we'd both been writing songs individually, but when we started writing, which is when I was 15, um, I stopped writing lyrics and Chris more or less stopped writing tunes as well. And that was an arrangement that suited us both. So when it came to writing by myself, it, it was a bit of a shock, you know. I'd been used to and very happy f to provide the tunes for Chris's lyrics. Uh, and I tried writing stuff and it turned... <laughs> It turned out to be absolute rubbish, and I knew it was when I started. I'd sort of work on something and look at, look at it at the end of the day or the week and think, it's not happening, you know. And so I thought, right, okay, I'll close that drawer and get another one out, which is I've come from co-writes, I'll go back to co-writes with different people and reach back into my past to, to some, some of the people that I've worked with and that would really, you know, whose songwriting really inspires me, and uh, ask them if they'd fancy getting involved. Fortunately... They did. So, uh, for instance, with um, with Amy Mann and uh, with Amy Mann, uh, we'd done some touring in 1994 together. We had uh, toured both over here and in the UK. Um, we had uh, danced in a few pubs, and we generally had a great time. We'd had a, had a disco in the back of our tour bus. So uh, I knew that we'd get on well writing. I'm going to play a song that... Uh, I'm going to play the one I wrote with Amy Mann, actually. Amy's lyrics, my music. Uh, it's called Observatory. She was married to somebody else. I was lonely and lived by myself. Maybe that's just a fight that you can't win. So we met and we started the car. Did that help? No, it did not. I suppose I knew that going in. And now watch. Broken hearts begin, but at least we will come on the road to the big observatory where the planets swung and the stars swung around the second story, and we stumbled upon a room where a luminous moon was waning, and I knew I was gone. Fun is pump up when push comes to shove. When it's done, we deny it was love, and we say, What were we thinking of? And the room where we look to the sky. We'll be there with its telescope by now. I won't get to meet all your friends as we 
go down the street of dead ends, but at least we will come on the road to the big observatory where the planets were and the stars swung around the second story, and we stumbled upon a room where a luminous moon was waning. She was married to somebody else I was lonely and lived by myself Maybe that's a battle you can't win Comcast Studio C, Glenn Tilbrook performs two of his greatest squeeze hits. What's been going on? Yeah, there, there, are, there are many. Uh, I, I think that uh, you mentioned up, up the junction earlier on. I think that's, that's the first proper story song that we wrote. And we wrote quite a few after that. But uh, it manages to convey a sort of a time and a place for me quite well. And I think that stood the test of time as well, which is a lucky thing to do because you, you can never try for that. So I'll do that one. That night I ain't forgotten Was she down out the rations With some of the passions I said you are a lady Perhaps she said I may be We moved into a basement With thoughts of our engagement We stayed in by the telly Although the room was smelly We spent our time just kissing The railway arms went missing Cause love had got us hooked up And all our time it took up a job with Stanley, he said I'd come in handy. I started me on Monday, so I had a bath on Sunday. I worked 11 hours, I bought the girl some flowers. She said she'd seen the doctor, but nothing now could stop her. I worked all through the winter, the weather brought some bitter. I put away a tenner, each week to make her better. When the time was ready, we had to sell the telly. The evenings by the fire, with little kicks inside her. This morning at 4.50, I took her rather nifty. Down to an incubator, with 30 minutes later. She gave birth to a daughter, within a year a walker. She looked just like a mother, if there could be another. She's two years older, her mother's with a soldier She left me with my drinking, became a proper stain The devil came and took me from Barter Street to Pookie No more nights by the telly, no more nights that be smelling kitchen i feel there's something missing i beg for some forgiveness but begging's not my business but she won't write a letter though i always tell her and so it's my assumption i'm really up the junction
I'm going to play a song that uh, really above all demonstrated the, the vital importance to me <coughs> of not believing that songs arrive perfectly formed. Um, the song itself, from my point of view, took me a week to write, and I was very, very pleased with it. But then the arrangement, I think, uh, made made the song complete. We recorded a version of it before, which uh, thankfully we didn't go with, which uh, which had uh, me on vocals and was uh, sort of, you know, I thought ELO had their had their moments and were great, but it was a sub ELO version of the song. Um, which could have just changed the way that people saw it so much. Fortunately, we didn't release that one, and Paul Carrick sang the original version of this song, which is Tempted. I bought a toothbrush, some toothpaste, a flannel for my face, pajamas, a hairbrush, new shoes in a case. I said to my reflection, let's get out of this place. There's a church in the steeple, the laundry on the hill, the billboards in the buildings, memories of a still keep calling and calling. But forget it all, I know I will. Tempted by the fruit of another. But the truth is discovered What's been going on Now that you have gone There's no other Tempted by the fruit of another Tempted by the truth has discovered I'm at the car park The airport The baggage carousel the people keep on crowding. I'm wishing I was well. I said it's no occasion. There's no story I could tell. But my bedside empty pocket, a foot without a sock. Your body gets much closer. I fumble for the clock. Alarmed by the seduction. I wish that it would stop. Tempted by the fruit of another Tempted but the truth is discovered What's been going on Now that you have gone There's no other Tempted by the fruit of another Tempted but the truth has discovered An apple, some perfume, a fortune all for you. But it's not my conscience that hates to be untrue. I asked of my reflection, tell me what is it to do? Tempted by the fruit of another. Tempted but the truth is discovered. What's been going on now that you have gone? With so many great movie channels, movie lovers are in for a real feast. Hope you have plenty of popcorn. Get more great movie channels from Comcast Digital Cable. It was sort of time, time at 43 years old for me to strike out on a new solo venture. 
And I felt very much that uh, in reaction to the, the last Squeeze album, which we sort of really hurried along, um, I wanted to take my time to get this record right. I wanted to take my time from the point of view of songwriting, and I wanted to take my time from the point of view of the actual production of the record, which I did at my own studio, along with uh, Andy Metcalf. So, uh, <coughs> that's what we did. <laughs> and I must say, I'm very happy with it too. This one is from the incomplete Glenn Tilbrook. Fabulous new record, released this year. Beautiful artwork. 12 new songs plus three bonus tracks. One of them, a beautiful recipe for you to follow at home. As if that wasn't enough, it's got a couple of pictures of me inside. <laughs> this is called This Is Where You Ain't. <laughs> This is one I, I wrote with uh, Kim Stockwood. It's uh, probably one of the sort of most uh, poppy songs on the record. I like it. It's called I Won't See You. Saw your boyfriend just the other day. He seemed really nice. And I know it's been a We said goodbye But when I see you now My heart 
about doing what I do and one of the things I've always enjoyed is the fact that you never know what's around the corner and I sort of um, ever since I started out I've loved that sort of improvisational quality to to life and um, I continue to enjoy that so God knows what's around the corner I can I can never predict Not my man. 